Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. I've got some 5 8 board, brand new. I went ahead and took the belt sander, sanded it off. I measured from corner to corner. I know this is perfectly square. Got my center. I'm going to drive this nail into it. Make sure I drive it in straight. I'm going to drill a hole on top of the uh, press here. and We're going to make the outside edge of our stator mold. Okay, from the edge of my blade here, measured over, Exactly seven inches is right in the middle of that groove. That's where I'm going to drill my hole. I'm using a 764 drill bit. There we go. Okay, well, measuring across the finished product here, we're looking at just about a 132nd of an inch shorter than 14. That's pretty close, 14 inches. When we look at this, and measure across here, we've got 14 and 5 sixteenths. All this extra gap is due to the width of the blade as it's cutting, because it's cutting a path like this. So anyway, this is going to be the outside of our stator mold. This probably be go for another HAWT somewhere. Let me lower this blade and unplug this machine. Alright, I took the belt sander around the edge on here and got it all nice and smooth. We're ready to install this thing. Other, we got one more thing to do, and that's the lid. The lid is easy. Any questions? Just wanted to show you why you turn this this way instead of this way. And always start with your blade down. We're going to finish cutting this. You need to raise the blade only a little bit at a time. The blade is spinning this way. When it hits this, it wants to spin it that way. So we need to go in the new wood this way. That way it has nothing to grab. Raise the blade up a little bit. And there's our inside piece for inside the coils. Go try that out for size. I pulled a nail out of the middle. And I'm going to put another drill bit through this and make it just a little bit wider so it fits on our peg just right and try it out for size. Okay, I put the other piece on top of the plywood and went ahead and cut this out. Notice it got little lumps and stuff in it. That's all right. This is not the good side that I'm going to use. This is the top. When I cut it, I drew an arrow, you can still see the arrow, and I labeled it lid. I went ahead and took the uh, belt sander and sanded it all off rather smooth. I got one spot here left to do, and then come across. I sand this way for speed, and then back, then I sand this way to get it smooth. This is going to be the inside of our lid. Okay, I've now drawn the X on the top side of the lid, leaving the smooth side down, and I'm going to drill a hole right in the middle to go in the middle of our form. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this this way. Now we have the arrow pointing up. I'll set that right over it. This is the exact same size. And I need to get these holes lined out. So on the side here, where these lines come over, I'm going to go ahead and make a mark on the side of the board. Mark on the side of the board. I'll say, well, what's that going to do for you? Those marks on the side of the board, where those lines are, tell me the two quadrants that my ter terminals are in. One's dead center on this line, the other two are just off to the side. All I have to do is draw my radius, 
or my uh, diameter on this board and I'll know where my terminals are. And that's pretty doggone close. Next is drive a peg in the middle, draw the circle. Okay, I got six and three quarters or six and seven eighths actually. And this line here, all right, measuring out to that mark. I went ahead and stuck my pen into the corresponding hole and drew a nice circle. Right here will be number two, which is red. Right here will be number two of the finishes, and this is the top outside of the, the mold. And I figure right somewhere around here, because it doesn't matter, I don't have anything else. That'll be my first phase, my third phase, just setting up, getting ready to drill. I like them about that far apart, that looks real good. Gives me room to work with a wrench. Alright, and now we're going to drill that, and our lid is complete. Okay, on the edge of the lid here for strength, I cut it, uh, put a line here where I'm going to cut into. And the same thing over here, the diameter of this bit is the same as these uh, 5 sixteenths. I'm going to wallow the hole out a little bit. This is going to be coated with wax, a straw slid over it. And then when the lid comes on, this goes on, and the center of the lid is going to peg here. Well, as you can see here, I put a clamp on the edge of the board, and then I drilled my three holes. Uh, stuck another piece of wood up underneath it, and then drilled my three holes, and the three holes over here. That keeps the other side of it from bugging out. Alright, the next thing is to pull this nail out of the center here and drill a hole. Still there's another piece of wood on the other side. Okay, and this has got to be drilled straight. That ought to do just fine. That'll mean that these pegs right here are exactly on the outside of where they want to be and I can line up the two edges. When I line up the two edges, or the all four sides of this form, these will be in the right spot. All right, I flipped this board over. This is the start. And I moved the camera. There we go. And there's the finishes. This is the bottom side, so it's all flipped over. Those bolts that go through there, I've got the one hole. Okay, I notice I got these two corners lined up perfectly. And the ones over there are lined up perfectly. Plus, I have the arrow at the top. The arrow is under here up to the top, and so, so won't the lid be. And I've got everything all straightened up pretty much into position. I'm going to drill here and put a screw, and then I'm going to drill here, and I'm going to put a screw. Same thing here and here. And then after that, I'm going to take it loose, and I'm going to go ahead and put a bead of caulk. This cost about, this cost less, about less than $1.50, the cheap caulk. Not that 6 and $7 stuff. The cheap caulk and the gun, uh, gun cost me less than $2. So basically about $3, $4. And then I got some one and a quarter inch drywall screws one and a quarter inch the threaded drywall screws and those are what I'm going to be using then I'm going to put one here and here and here and here and here all the way around the perimeter and in the corners one two and three all the way around if you see right now if I press down on this it actually moves so stuff can get under there that's what I'm going to prevent okay I took a five thirty seconds drill bit I drilled the original hole just through the just through the ring piece, the side of the mold, and then I took a large drill bit and I countersunk all these holes. These screws must be able to go through these holes without gripping, but you got to countersink the holes so they get nice and flush. When it grabs the board underneath, this will pull down. Instead of putting a few threads between each layer and keeping it from uh, actually going down and sealing. So the next thing is to cock it and put these screws in. The 7 64 inch drill bit, and I drilled down into this bottom board through this hole after this was lined up, and I put this screw in, and I did the same thing over there. Now that this is not going to walk this way or anywhere else and it's all straight, I'm going to drill all the rest of the holes with that 7 64 drill bit. Okay, another beautiful descriptive uh, deal. All of these screws are just setting in their holes, all set there. I drew a line on the inside of this form all the way around even with these new indents that I did with the belt, the tip of the belt sander. Draw that, I'm going to take this off, all these screws will stay where they're at and all I got to do is stick the screw gun to them and go down. Right now I'm fixing to put the caulk on. screws are in place. If I set this left corner over here, this right corner over here, 
I ought to be able to just stick the screw gun in and go. Pretty good. Push some into the crack there a little bit, doesn't really matter much. In fact, I'm going to get a little more. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things.